Well, good morning. Well, I guess it's actually good afternoon now, right? How are we doing today? So, um... Here we are, going to play some Minecraft. Just kind of going to poke around our island survival. Um, well, we kind of think of, like, things to do. No one's on stream yet right now, and that doesn't really surprise me because, well, this is uh, my first week back at school. Um, I know that the two K through 3 was back last week, but I was in the junior high. So now we actually have everyone K through 8 back. So I was back in school, and I think probably people are a little confused when we are or when that will be possible to stream again. I really wish that I could stream from school. Then we would do some Minecraft challenges on Monday and Tuesday, except I think that our school network is not going to let us play Minecraft online. All right, let's see what we got. Here we are. Okay, we're going to jump in the old server here. And we're going to see where we are, because I can't really remember. Well, wherever we are, it is raining. This kind of architecture architecture is like indicative of what it, we really end up creating a lot of times, you know? It's like houses that were houses, but then get blown up by creepers or, or something like that. And, um, oh, this is a neat house, look at this. Says, Yerk, Yerk, Meanie, Jerk Meanie. Hmm. Not sure what that means, but from up here we can see uh, this was our little island survival world, huh? Oh, don't break or steal. Steel spelt like the metal. Don't be a metal. Oh, we got some people online. Let's see who's online here. We got Fancy Fox 101. We got Dark Blue, Scarlet Rose, and Astro Girl. Astro Girl, I did not see you this uh, at school. Were you at school this week? Stupid. Mm. Okay. I did see Scarlet Rose, though. That was fun. Okay, well here we are, it is night, and I have, oh, I thought I heard a skelly. Oh, I heard a skelly. Let's uh, eat some of this food here. Got some cooked salmon, mm -mm -mm, delicious. Bam, got some food back. I think we were going, um, We were going, uh... Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. This is what happens to our houses. They get creepered. Ow! I'll save you. I saved you from the wee spider. Here's somebody's dirt home. This is a lot like what my first homes look like. Just like, get me in some dirt. Make me safe from the... Terrible skeletons shooting bows at me. Uh, that might be some fun content to take a look at. Hold on. I saw a cool thing on, on, up here, sounds like somebody's burying me. It. 
Yeah, this is it. Okay, let's take a look at this, actually. I'm gonna quit. Server for It's dead. Hold on. Second. Okay. There we go. Let's grab this and drop it over here. Okay, check this out. I saw this online. So this is um this was a cool thing. I thought this was really neat. I know this is not playing Minecraft, but I read this and I thought it was super cool and I want to share it with you guys. Um so this says what it takes to beat multiplayer hardcore. So I don't know if you know this, but in multiplayer mode. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Let me tell everyone what I'm doing. Hold on. Let's go go, t go tell the Minecraft people this is what I'm doing on the stream. Um, apparently, I am underground. There we are. At least it's not night anymore. Okay. Uh... Hey guys, going to go over some cool or some cool Minecraft. On the stream. Login off. Not a bit, a bit. Login off for a bit. Okay, check it out. So, um, okay, here we are. So what it takes to play my multiplayer hardcore. So in Minecraft, when you do a hardcore world, it means that if you die, game automatically deletes your world. So you can't go back into it. Kind of like real life <laughs> in a, grim dark way all right so uh but these people what they did was they played multiplayer hardcore so there are 13 people that play just kind of like our server 13 people like we have 10 but they have 13 they have a little more people that can play at one time and they did a speed run with these 13 players and what they did was any time any player died they deleted the world. Anytime any player died, they deleted the world. So that is like super hardcore mode, right? So this is just like the data that they collected. They kept track of a whole lot of things while they were playing. And this is um this is what they got. So they had 13 players playing. It took them 95 days to beat the game. So remember, we got pretty close to beating the game in one afternoon. Um, but of course, we had hundreds and hundreds of deaths, right? <laughs> so for them, they were tried to get zero deaths. It took them from November 15th to February 18th. It took 206 hours logged on. Okay, when you multiply that by 13 people, that's a lot of human hours spent on this. And it took... 39 worlds let's talk about life expectancy how long did they last okay we survived an average four hours and 31 minutes per world so on average they were there four hours four and a half hours 33 of the worlds are fa uh, okay our fastest death was so our fastest death was one minute and 48 seconds one minute 48 seconds I bet they spawned on like a really tall mountain or fell off. Uh, when they lived in a village, it increased the lifespan by an hour. So finding a village, I think we kind of we kind of found that to be the case when we were playing Minecraft, our speed run, that finding a village is really important. It gives you all those bales of wheat, which just is like instant food, right? And then of course, just like, 
access to easy wood and beds. All those beds are really useful. All biomes are not created equal. So the lower this number, the more likely they were to die. The longer, the higher the number, the longer it lasted. So good biomes were snowy tagai. I wonder why. Forest is really low. I bet that's because forest is low because monsters can like that spawn at night can stick around during the day in the shade. All right, swamp and savanna were bad too. Hard to run away, swamp. Okay, we found diamonds in only uh sixty seven percent of the world, so that's not that bad. I mean, that's I'm actually surprised that. They found them that much. Our best run without diamonds was three and a half hours. Our worst run with diamonds was over in 30 minutes. And the worlds with diamonds averaged five hours and almost six hours longer. So if they found diamonds, it was a huge boon for them. That's interesting. All right, here we go. This is interesting. The causes of deaths. So 15% from falling, 5% from drowning, 2% from lava. Oh, man, if you're the person who gets who falls in lava and ends a world for your 13 other friends, you're probably feeling pretty bad. And then a whole whopping 76% uh, was caused by mobs. Now, here's what this is really interesting. Here are all the different kind of mob deaths, right? Almost half of all mob deaths, 46% were from creepers. Which, I guess that makes sense, right? So a third of all deaths were creeper-related. I wonder if that means, like, sometimes they, like, jump off a build, jump off a high place to try to avoid a creeper or something, right? So technically the creeper didn't kill them, but, um, you know, it helped cause them. Then Enderman, Iron Golem, Blazes, Piglins. I don't even know what a Piglin is. Um, drowned, Withered Skeletons. Those guys are the good ones in the fortress. Those are, I hate those guys. And then Zombies. Now, what's interesting on this list is that I don't see any skeletons, like regular skeletons, when they shoot bows at you. Like... I feel like those guys kill me more than any other mob because what happens is I get stuck in, I guess what happens is once you get armor and stuff, they're not that bad. But like in the beginning, like there's their range and they just keep shooting you. I feel like I'm surprised that they didn't have at least one or two deaths caused by the range skeletons. That's really interesting. Uh, death. One death was PVP related. He was fished into water while AFK. <laughs> Someone threw a fishing line at him and dragged him into water when he wasn't there. And then he just drowned. Okay, what's up with the weather? It rained on two worlds and it never snowed. It only rained on two worlds. That blows my mind. I mean, we have rain all the time. Why was it not raining in there? In their games. That means rain was falling for just 0.3% of the playtime. That seems ridiculously low. Just how dangerous is the nether? Once a nether portal is built, there was a 45% chance of dying inside. Yeah, we knew that. I mean, remember some of the nether portals that we threw up during our speed run where, like, we, like, spawned on soul sand and there's just many ghasts and they're just, like, blowing us all up? <sighs> Excuse me, I can't stop yawning today. All right. Uh, just 15% came out with netherite. You know what? I don't even know what netherite is. That's so weird. Only three people ever ended up with any netherite equipment. So I guess netherite is something you mine in the nether, huh? Yeah. Okay, beware the night. We stayed up all night only five times. Two of those nights resulted in a death. So the staying up at night was very dangerous. 
I mean, we kind of knew that though, right? Monsters come at night. That's why the nether is so dangerous because it, it spawns monsters all the time. Okay, we built two mob grinders. And 100% of them ended up directly being responsible for a player death. Well, I guess don't build a mob grinder while you're trying to uh, play Minecraft, huh? We weren't big on strongholds. We only bothered to find the stronghold three times. That's 8% of the worlds. And just two of them were opened, and we went through one. So they only went through one portal. That's, I wonder why. I mean, like, it says we only bothered to find strongholds three times. I mean, like, I would think that, like, maybe they die a lot before then, but bothered makes it sound like they were not interested in going to the end. I don't know. All right, it says, oh, man, I'm yawning so much. Okay. They went through one, and on their first trip, they defeated the dragon. And they took zero hearts of damage from the dragon. That's amazing. The very first time. They must have been super prepared for the dragon that one time. They're like, okay, boys, we're totally ready this time. Let's go. And they just, like, filed in. They must have all had diamond armor. I mean, look, this guy has diamond armor. This guy has diamond armor. One panda was bred in captivity. We found two mushroom islands. I don't know what a, I mean. I know what a mushroom biome is, but what is a mushroom island? Why is that interesting? Okay. Um, our explorers raided three bastions. I don't even know what a bastion is. Look at all this stuff I don't know about Minecraft. What's a bastion? Okay, four wandering traders suffocated in walls. What does that mean? <laughs> we spotted five pink sheep. Okay, wild pink sheep. So I guess wild pink sheep must be super rare. Okay, we imposed a... Oh, this is a great one. After world 17... So after their 17th world, they imposed a death fee of $4.20 to discourage carelessness. So people they wanted people to play really seriously on their server. After payments going out for the realm, we ended up with $60 to be used for future activities. Oh, much tired. Okay. Superlatives. This means extra stuff, extra stuff. Here are their, like, the person with the most deaths. Oh, this person. Top. Kill streak, most deaths in a row. Yeah. The trifecta, the first three and last three deaths happen to be the same three people in the same order. Oh, that's kind of funny. Speedrunner, fastest death. Mr. Incredible, longest streak with no deaths. And the biggest loser, longest world ended by their death. Oh, 21 hours. 21 hours. We worked on our... Minecraft speed runs for six hours. And could you imagine playing 21 hours and then you die, causing it to reset? Man, I'm going to have to like take a nap or something. You know what happened is I was up late last night and then also I had a, I just ate a really huge lunch. So I'm like, ugh, ugh, trying to stay awake here. And then here they just gave some individual awards like Act of God deflected a gassed fireball which then hit an enderman that subsequently teleported to him and killed him. Ugh, that's funny. Dr. Eggman got himself killed with an egg by accidentally hitting an iron golem. So he threw an egg the egg accidentally hit an iron golem, and the iron golem came over and whooped them. That is a shame. Could you imagine spending like hours working on your Minecraft world, and then now it gets deleted because someone does that? Bob the Builder, most likely to finish a large elaborate building right before someone died. <laughs> the King, got on Discord 
that's a way of talking to each other, got on Discord to reset the realm even when he had a girl over. Oh my goodness. Never say never. Got to the nether before getting diamonds three times. Oh, that's cool. Wait, are those pillagers? Triggered the only raid to occur in any world. What's a raid? A raid is. And then the village idiot thought he was on a different realm's lobby and killed himself on purpose. Oh. Oh. That. That would be so painful. Okay. And then to the moon. Nobody's chatting today. Are we on the Google Classroom trying to chat? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, it didn't turn. I forget. No, it's on. Got a lot of lurkers today. Check out the stream here. Mr. Zayden posting some cool, some cool stuff. Mr. Zayden, I want to check out scratch part. But I'll put that up later. Uh, and then to the moon, amassed ninety-seven emeralds before getting a single piece of diamond gear. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Anyways, I thought this was a lot of fun, and I really have a bunch of questions, like. How did they record a lot of this data? I mean, like, look at the, you can see here that this was like, this is the chart of their worlds. You can see the more they played, the longer on average, the world, um, they survived in the world. Pretty neat. How did they get all of this average? Like, they kept track of who was killed by what and they kept track of how many times it rained. I mean, there must be some kind of like logs that like produce this numbers for them. Really interesting. Okay, guys. Well, that is going to kind of be it for today. I am like exhausted and really need a nap. I know that this was not like playing Minecraft, but I really thought that this was a, a pretty cool... Um, bit of data i want to know more about how they did that and then if we can do that with our realms you know play a bunch of stuff and keep track of what's going on inside of it that'd be really neat all right so i'm gonna sign off it was super awesome seeing you guys i will be back on monday to do a stream and then tuesday so if you are going to school on monday check me out on tuesday if you're going to school on tuesday check me out on monday Otherwise, I'll be back one week for more Answer Plays Minecraft. See you later, boys and ladies.